Infinity Game here, and while New Zealand is in lockdown, I've been in a reflective mood. I've realised that in a couple of my videos, I've maybe bagged on Corpus Belly and Infinity, maybe more than I should do. Now that's purely because I've got really high expectations for this game. It is phenomenal, and so I've put it up on a pedestal. What I wanted to do with this video is strip away all that negativity, all the things I don't like, and just focus on 10 things that I absolutely love about Corvus Belly's Infinity The Game. Number one. I absolutely love how free and accessible they make everything. So this got pointed out in one of my comments actually, was that basically you can access the rules, you can access the quick start rules, uh, you can access a whole bunch of missions as well, just for free on the Corpus Belly website for Infinity of the Game. Again, I'm gonna draw some comparisons here, but I came from Games Workshop, where you had to pay through the nose for every little thing needed. Yes, admittedly, for eighth edition, Games Workshop released the quick start rules for free. Whoop dee do. Here, with Infinity, quick start rules are free. Main rules are free. Basically, if you want to get into Infinity, it's pretty much free. You just pay for models. Number two. The models. I love the detail. I love the pewter. I love how much they cost. Like, again, coming from other games where you're paying an abs... You basically pay a tax for how good that model is in the meta. Here, not a problem. Pretty much, if it's a standard size, it's a standard cost. Regardless of how good it is, because the game is so balanced. So you get it, you're paying a fraction of the price for better quality models that are just as usable. Number three. Carlos. He gets a mention in his own right. Because all you have to do is watch that guy for five minutes on any YouTube video. And how can you not feel passionate about Infinity? I don't, I must admit, I don't understand 50% of what he's saying because his enthusiasm and his European flair kind of take over. But you just end up smiling at him because he's so in love with the game he plays and, and the thing that he's clearly passionate about that you can't help but fall more in love with Infinity as a game, Corvus Belli as a company, and the passionate people that work there purely through watching Carlos for just a, about five or 10 minutes. So if you haven't already, try and hunt down any of the myriad of videos that Corvus Belli put out there with Carlos featured. And again, you will be hooked and just as in love with Infinity when you see this guy's passion. The Army Builder. If you haven't had a chance to play around with this thing, jump on board. It is, again, it's free and it is insanely good. Not only is the artwork brilliant, but it's got all the information you need. Weapon profile, hacking profiles, the points values, the SWC. Like, it's obviously got, it's got a list checker so that you can see whether your list is even a viable list. Like, it does it comply to all the rules? Are there army builders out there that do exactly the same thing? Probably. Again, laboring onto a point here, having played Games Workshop's 40k and having to use the third party app Battlescribe, which I could never get to work because I was playing Yanari, so I needed 900 different lists downloaded and it never quite configured, to then come to Infinity, jump on the army builder, select my faction and get to work. Oh, this thing is absolutely priceless. And again, Corvus Belli are doing this for free. It's absolutely nuts. Great work by them. Number five. The thing I absolutely love about Infinity is the community of people. Now, it's not the same as some other tabletop games where there's like your higher echelon of player and then there's your basic player who's afraid to ask questions because they might get laughed at. Or there's, there's trolls on the Facebook groups who are going to give you crap for something that you've said. Just simply doesn't exist in Infinity. Like, there might be pockets of it somewhere where someone, you know, maybe has a slightly I'm better than you view. But it's so rare that it almost doesn't factor in. Pretty much everyone in Infinity, on the forums, in Facebook, whether you're, I don't know, whichever groups you're part of, they are just brilliant. They give you the time. You, you, know, you may post a photo of a model that isn't very well painted. And instead of the raft of comments of thin your paints and all that stuff, you'll just get some you'll get some critiques on maybe consider doing this, but otherwise, great job and glad you're in Infinity. I think there's a there's a slight perception that people are just so glad that people are picking up this game um, because it's so good and we need it to be more popular. That there's no sense of get out of here, you noob. Um, it's fantastic. The people are really helpful. If you're lucky enough 
to have a local gaming store with a small group of people, you will find that they are a great bunch of people. Six, I really appreciate how forgiving the rules in Infinity are for you not having all of the models but still being able to play. So obviously the mechanics are there. So they've obviously got the silhouette profile. So so long as the proxy models that you use fit that suit, fit that silhouette profile, you're pretty much good to go. There is a lot of leeway here for not having models fully what you see is what you get. If you don't have full WYSIWYG models, you're fine. You try doing that in a top level tournament in other tabletop games where your models are not perfectly WYSIWYG and you will probably be kicked off the table. Not the case in Infinity. Now that's partly because Infinity haven't put the same effort into releasing versions of every single model so that you can have perfectly WYSIWYG versions of everything. And that's a good thing because that again means that you're not having to spend a ton of money to try and make sure that you've got every version of every model available. You're not having to magnetize everything to try and, oh, I wanna use this gun. Oh, I've got to magnetize that, gone. Infinity players and Infinity as a meta and as a tournament scene is very forgiving for this is a Corvus Belly model that has the same silhouette profile as what I'm representing. I'm running with it and everyone's just kind of cool with it. Obviously you get additional bonus points if you're running as close to the real thing as possible. But again, there's no expectation that, oh, that's not the weapon that you said is running on the list. That's an illegal move. Love Infinity for that. Okay, here's one that some other tabletop gaming people will understand, others might not. So when a company launches a whole bunch of rules, sometimes the really experienced players have questions and they wanna jump on Facebook and ask the people who created those rules or created the game those questions directly and maybe get their feedback on whether something should work a certain way or not. Now again, if you're used to the Games Workshop Warhammer world, you might jump on the Facebook, answer a question. If you're lucky, something gets clarified, but they'll, chances are they'll drop an FAQ in a couple of months time that may or may not answer your question. Take Corvus Belly as the polar opposite to that approach. If you've got a question, chances are someone from Corvus Belly is actually going to jump on that and answer that question. So take dropping N4 and Code 1 as a prime example. Uh, Corvus Belly made an announcement, I don't even know where that announcement came from, that basically not every army was going to be getting rules for Code 1 and N4 straight away. So of course the people who had been playing Infinity from the very beginning and collected some of those armies were outraged. All of a sudden the, all their investment, time, money, um, learning the game was gone. People actually responded. The marketing manager, who is a lovely person, actually came back and said they're just not going to be available to start with but of course those rules are going to come out later. It's just not a main priority because of the workload, they're a small company, all of that sort of stuff. And obviously the audience was very understandable of that. Can you imagine anyone senior at Games Workshop coming back and saying, you're right, sorry that we've just made your army redundant for six months while we basically roll out new rules and they're not a, a main faction, so we're not going to apply to them. But, you know, rest assured we're going to be there. No, they'll leave you to sweat it out and they'll just leave you. Corvus Belly, completely different. Infinity, very different game. Third party suppliers. Okay, so this it seems a weird thing to focus on because it's not even really about Corvus Belly or Infinity. But I think because Infinity attracts such a passionate bunch of people, there are a whole bunch of creative sorts who have invested their time and their energy and their skills into creating some really cool stuff for Infinity. So Corvus Belly do do a great job of ensuring that when you buy a pack of like a starter set, you've got tokens, you've got pretty much everything you need to get started. But, you know, some of it is good enough to get started. But if you're going to take the game seriously and you're going to be playing frequently, you know, the cardboard might not last very long. Um, some of the tokens might start to show their age quite quickly. The good news is, is that there are a whole bunch of third party suppliers who have taken things to the next level. Uh, I'm talking the Etherworks tokens that are just great quality and lovely. Battle Kiwi tokens and accessories are top notch. Warsnall is another brand that gets banded around quite a lot that is really good quality stuff. I'm missing off a whole bunch. Um, I don't have sponsors, so I don't know everyone off the top of my head. But just a prime example is if you want third party accessories for Infinity, there is a wide selection of them. They're readily accessible and they are very reasonably priced for the quality that they are.
you don't need to drop several hundred dollars. I realize this is me kind of like extending on from point two, but let's face this. So in order for me to have a competitive Eldar army for Warhammer 40,000 through Games Workshop, I hate to think how much I spent. It was definitely in the hundreds of dollars and don't let my wife hear this, but it may have even been around $1,000 or so. And that's to get a couple of thousand points of highly desirable models. And then there's obviously the time painting it and carry cases and all that sort of stuff. Now, Infinity maybe has a bit of a reputation for the fact that you only need 10 models to play. You can get away with 10 models, but in order to have a half decent list, you might need 20, uh, possibly 30 by the time you've fallen in love with another faction that isn't your primary one. So um, I think I'm at maybe 15 or 20 models off the top of my head, maybe close to 30. I've got two armies um, and that was that's very normal, I think. But I have not paid anywhere near the realms of what I had to pay to get a semi-decent army for Games Workshop and for 40k. But it's very realistic for you to have a semi-decent army for a couple of hundred dollars instead of maybe thousands. The wiki! The wiki is fantastic! I complain too much that there are nested rules in Infinity and that you know, you look into a rule and then there's a link to another rule, another rule, another rule, and it's confusing and it's complicated. But stopping there, the wiki has been an absolute lifesaver so many times. And there are links and explainers and demos, the hours, the days, the weeks of time that's gone into keeping that updated to making sure that all the information is there is insane. Like it is the Google for infinity rules. So if you don't understand a rule, the wiki is there. And again, it's completely free. Anyone can go in there, find the answers to stuff, and it's all been made available thanks to Corvus Belli's hard work. The wiki is another reason why I absolutely love infinity. I waffled on massively, but I do feel it's important to sometimes focus on what people are doing right, because it's easy to get focused on the things that don't happen well. Um, and obviously Corvus Belli are going through a bit of a, a challenging time at the moment, not just because of the COVID-19 situation, but at the same time, they're trying to get Defiance out. They're trying to launch Code 1. They're trying to get N4 going. Um, they've got a lot on their plates. They are a small company. And I think it's worth giving them huge amounts of credit for the things that they do exceptionally well. And they do so much a lot better than other gaming companies. And we need to sometimes just stop and reflect that this is a small business that is doing exceptionally great things for a global community of very passionate followers. It is helped by the fact that there are people in that community who support them, who promote the work, who are there. The War Corps are a prime example. If you have, haven't heard of them, check them out. Those are a really strong band of people who are huge advocates for Infinity, but are also there to support new players. Um, they're a fantastic bunch of people, again, completely just doing it off their own generosity and kindness. Can't speak highly enough about those sorts of people. They're all over the place. Whether they're part of the War Corps or not, you will find pockets of Infinity players who will give up hours of their time, days of their time to try and support you. I'm lucky enough that I've got a really good network of people here locally who do that. And massive shout out to them. They are fantastic. And I just I honestly cannot thank them enough for that. And also the wider Infinity community in New Zealand, Australia and globally who, who help. And obviously you guys who you know, have taken the ramblings of an idiot and give me positive comments. You guys are exactly the sort of people that make Infinity the game that I have fallen in love with and cannot put down and cannot step away from. So thank you all of you. I really do appreciate it. You're all fantastic. And please put into the comments below the things you love about Corvus Belli and Infinity. Let's keep the positivity going. And uh, yeah, let's hope that there's all of this COVID-19 nonsense ends soon and we can all get back to playing against each other and let's keep Infinity strong. Thank you all for your support. Chat to you soon.